Good evening, brothers and sisters, and I'm glad you tuned in. We're going to be covering faith, part two, supply. Do you know, uh, faith, in faith we have to be in the vine. We have to have the connection. We have to have like a well, for instance, you know, a well of faith. Uh, faith is something like, you know, it takes time to develop. And once you develop it, you know, you develop it by digging down, and digging down, digging down until you get into the water. Then you reinforce that part so that it doesn't collapse in on itself. And you dig some more. And pretty soon you have an established well. Well, one thing we have to keep an eye out for is we got to keep our well clean. See what I got here? I got Psalms 51, and it says, Create in me a clean heart, O God. Now, a lot of times we think, uh, oh, did you get your coffee? Let's, get, let's have our coffee, okay? Got your coffee, your tea, your beverage. That's an important thing, okay? For you to be comfortable while we're uh, discussing this topic. Now, I want to show you something right here that I prepared for you. Uh, I also got in um, Strong's numbers so we can talk about certain words. But let's go down here, okay? Why uh, do we need, why do we need a uh, clean heart? I mean, maybe you think you already got one, right? But, you know, the heart is very deceitful. So let us go here and look here. Uh, I got some uh, web pages here that we'll just uh, touch on, okay? Let me get them up. And uh, the one I want to show you is this sucker here. Pride. Okay, when you think you're better than others, makes a name for itself, looks down on others. You might think you're not doing it, but look at all this. Pride. What happens with pride? You can read, just read them. Overbearing, self-interest, self-ambition, wants attention, boasting, self-love. We talk about narcissists, right? Uh, rude, vanity, got a lot of makeup on lady. Be fruitful and multiply, okay? Now, this website, uh, uh, I have this chart on here because uh, it's by um, Mel Green, Milton Green, and he's deceased now, but he was very good. Uh, I have a lot of his material on my site. He's excellent, an excellent teacher, and I made it available on my site for you. Uh, so he's gone now. I'm not making no money on it. I just want to share what he uh, has been trying to get over. The message over, he died in like 1974 or something like that, uh, 1980. So uh, I'm helping. Let's go here. Lose all the guilty stains. Okay? It, it, you know, I can't tell you, you know, sin produces guilt. The fountain is the wellspring of water. Inside your heart, okay, there's a fountain. The river of, life, river of life flows holy divine, precious ruby, red, lamb of God, love blood. Look, rivers of living water right here. You see that? And you can go to these websites yourself. Okay, and that's inside your heart. The fountain of uh, uh, blood, okay, flowing out of my heart. There is a fountain of blood flowing out of my heart, right? And that's inside everybody's heart, a fountain of blood from the Lamb of God. Okay, we all need that. We need to keep it flowing. We need that to be pumping out. But we need to make sure we don't have no junk inside our well. Okay, just think it up. Because all we, be, all we will be doing is we won't be getting anything when we try to be using our faith, when we we're trying to supply our needs, try to meet the... Help our family meet uh, meet ends meet, and more. 
you know, getting ahead in the world, getting college educations. None of that's going to work if you feel all guilty, if you ain't take care of the issues of your heart, if you got all crunked up with uh, sticks, and you let those little beavers bring those dicks, sticks in there and uh, dam up your uh, well supply for the Lord. Okay, block them out. Here. The righteousness or sin, ground zero, right? Let's see, I, I have a little song here. Let's see if we play. Okay. Um, let's just turn, turn it off, okay? So, it, it won't play on yours. I guess it's going to my headphone, okay? So it's not really playing for you to hear. So, um, it talks about Golgotha. And uh, the Romans pushed the Savior, uh, and uh, they were mean and nasty and unclean, you know. Totally, uh, at ground zero, of a total solar eclipse, right? This here, when Jesus died, that's our ground zero. Like you heard of 911, ground zero? Well, this is our ground zero. Right here, okay? The precious blood of Jesus, side A and B, Okay? And uh, this was an auto cassette that um, I, I converted to MP3 in front of the website. You can download these. It has instructions on how you can download those. All right. See, here's the instructions. Click on three dots. And I also have here, I also heard that this word means crown, okay? The solar eclipse, like when he was on a cross, all the way around him, right? You could see uh, lights, right? All the way around him where he was dying on a cross of the solar eclipse. There was a, man, a ring of fire, okay? A ring of fire, all right? Here's what the centurion said. And then when he was in the grave, they gave them hush money to cover up the resurrection of life, okay? You can read this here, okay? All this, you take time and read it, okay? Do you know why? Okay, because it's right here on this video. These are the pages we just visited right here. And um, I'll put them in the uh, selection uh, in the information for this video, okay? So let's go up here again, okay? I don't spend a lot of time because this is something you can read. Uh, in my channel, there's a uh, it does a channel you can go to. It's called Esword, and it gives you a tutor, a tutor, a tutor, tutorial of how to use this program I'm using all the time. Okay, right here, it's Esword.net. Okay, you can download this and get the whole program. See, look, create in me a clean heart, oh God, right? And this is right after David went to see Bathsheba. And you know what happened? They were had fornications and everything. He took someone else's wife, and then he had him killed. Have mercy on me, according to their love and kindness. You know, I started to highlight words like I do with the uh, yellow, but I decided not to do that because I ended up, everything was yellow. Everything in this uh, psalm is important. Look, the multitude of thy tender mercies. Okay. If you feel guilty, what's this mean to you? Blot out my transgressions. See, nowadays, we don't just blot them out or cover them up, like it used to be with blood sacrifices. But Jesus Christ cleansed us of all unrighteousness. He cleansed us of sin consciousness. They never had that in the Old Testament. They could never, your consciousness could never be clean of sin. Uh, sin consciousness. You always had that consciousness. It was just covered up. But with Jesus Christ... He, he, he cleansed it all away like it never existed. All right? We talk, talk about that uh, fuller soap that uh, he makes his uh, garments whiter than the sun, whiter than anything you can uh, imagine or do on this earth. He can make it white. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sin. Okay, acknowledge my transgression. For I, here, this is, the, this is really important here. For I acknowledge my transgressions. And my sin be forever before me, okay? All right. I was shaped in iniquity. 
All right, look, uh, behold, you, uh, you, you desire is truth in my inward parts. Okay, we got to confront uh, how we feel on the inside. Okay, that's important. Okay, uh, make me to hear joy and gladness. All right, uh, that the bones which thou hast uh, broken may rejoice. See, Jesus, he never had no bones broken, okay? Now, bones refer to spirit. Uh, you know, David might be broken, in his, uh, hurt, hurt in his spirit. Uh, hide thy face from my sins. Blot out all my iniquities. Now, you're talking to a holy God that you just uh, uh, killed somebody's you know, wife and taken take her and lied about the whole thing. Then you do talk to a holy God, right? You're running a nation where everyone is after you, hates you, you know? Then you can say, hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. You know, that's got a lot of balls right there. He got a lot of balls to say, to say something like that. But, okay, let's just go continue. Can you imagine that? Uh, David asking God for something like that. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not the Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of my salvation, and uphold me with a free spirit. Uh, and then I will teach transgressors, transgressors my way, and sinners shall be converted unto thee. See, all this Psalm 51 is important. You can read the whole thing. All always goes like this. Okay, look, what it says. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken contrite heart, oh God, you will not despise. You see what I talking about? That David was hurting his spirit. I sense that when I was reading that. That here, a broken spirit. Now here, let's just go right here. Uh deliver me from blood guiltiness. Oh my God. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's so much in here, okay? Mm. And what we're going to do is I will show you. You just come right down here and see what these things mean, okay? Let's go here. Okay. Create. What's create mean? Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read it to you. Uh, it doesn't want to come up. So I'm going to click on this. Right? And then I go right there to my dictionary. Okay? Let me see if I can make this big. No, I can't. Okay. It is, this word create means to create, qualified, to cut down a wood, select, feed. Okay? Choose, create, cut down, dispatch, do, make fat. Okay? Create. It's bara. Bara. Okay? All right, let me see. All right, let me see. All right. Okay, I got it back. Okay, uh, let's go right back here. There you go. So you just got to see even so sometimes, you know, this is a big, such a big program that I, I, uh, it's, I lose my way in it. Okay, let's look here. See the first one I'm going to click? I'm going to press that. You see where we got there? Look at all the Bibles. You got all kinds of different screens to look at. You have this right there. Okay, I wonder... Uh, okay. If I press this, what will happen? I just go right back to where my, my thing is. Let's go down here. And then we're right back right here with uh, the three web pages that I gave you. You're going to have to investigate this on your own because it'll take too much time. I could be looking at this one particular psalm for like a whole month. But I will show you where it's at and why it's important. 
That was my concern, that you have a clean supply of faith and a, a clean heart uh, to use that faith with. Because if you don't have a clean heart, no good can come out of it, okay? I know there's a lot of narcissists out there, and they want to teach faith. They want to have students around and all that, and all they're having is a supply. They're just using those people to feed their own self because uh, it, you have to understand the nature of somebody who is a narcissist or is involved in narcissism. It is a, a, a severe psychotic sickness. And what you see that offends you on the surface is just the tip of an iceberg. The real problem is what's below the surface. And a lot of people say that there's no help for a narcissist. Well, one thing, a narcissist should not be in the pulpit or teaching anybody faith. Uh, they need direct special help. Uh, and the support, they need a special support group. Just like one for drugs or one for sexual sins, they need one for narcissism, for those narcissists that like to feed off people. And that's why, again, I want you to check out my channel, uh, my subscribe channels, okay? And I have a, different, a lot of different, tons of programs there. Uh, beside three narcissist, narcissist uh, counselors, I have all kinds of faith programs, uh, revival programs, uh, pro programs that you never thought about. And this will help strengthen you in faith. If you book, bookmark my page, uh, gloriousmercy.com, uh, you were, that would be the hub that would take you to all my websites, take you to uh, the, my channel, take you to, uh, access to my subscribe channels. They have all kinds of faith on it. Because uh, not only, I'm just not promoting myself, okay? I want to uh, think about your faith development should not have to wait on me to make, get around to making a video. So I will make the videos as the Lord showed me the best I can. I don't have a lot of money, okay? Uh, I don't have studios to, to produce all these fancy, uh, uh, real fast movies, of high intensity and, you know, like that. I'm not, This is what I got, okay? But uh, how can I compete with that? Is the Lord told me that he would be with me and he would anoint me over all those other ones. What, what I have that he don't have, I have miracles and signs and wonders right here for you, Lord. Right here. All these people, all the people that come to this website, Lord God. Okay, you bring your sick, okay? Send me to uh, your sick people. The, send me to the people that you need, know that need the help. Uh, share me uh, to those people that you know need help. Like my page and help people find me, okay? Okay, Lord God, I break the backbone of these narcissistic spirits, Lord God, of these mind-controlling demons, Lord God. I break their back. Lord God, I open the heart of all these people that maybe for the first time, they can feel the river of life flowing out of them again as they did when they were first reborn and infilled with your Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, I see people right there, okay? You're in a, you're in a room, you're sitting around the table and you're watching. The Holy Spirit's right there, right there where you are. That's where the Holy Spirit's at. Where two or three of me are gathered, there I will be. You gather in Jesus' name, the Holy Spirit is there. The Holy Spirit's in your heart because when you were reborn, God shined his love and light in himself 
He put himself inside of you. And as you grew and became to the age of reasoning, what happened was he had closed the curtain. And uh, now it's up, it was, it's up to you to become reborn. So he can, he can tear that curtain from top to bottom, just like he did 2,000 years ago in the temple. Because inside you, uh, you have your own temple that you have to break that curtain open, that veil. And you have to have the uh, feast where Jesus pours over the water and you get in filled with the Holy Ghost. You know, you have to uh, walk through the deserts after you come out of the land of Egypt with Moses and go through the Red Sea and get that spiritual baptism. You have to camp out with the Lord in the desert. Okay, You have to take Jerusalem with the Lord, right? Everything, the whole world, all of his existence, if God is inside of you, all of eternity, all of his existence, anything that was, is, the world to come, is to come, is inside your heart. It's all inside there because you're in a God class of people. You're just not a human being, okay? You're God's child. The son or daughter of God. You might just be a baby right now. Okay, like Moses, right? But you know all babies grow up. If if you take and listen, okay? So now I'm going to dispatch faith to you. And, and Lord God, impart the miracles that they need to them. I want you to ask the Lord for the miracle that you want, okay? Ask God what he, what he would have you to receive, if you want something special from the Lord, ask for it. If you want the gifts of healing, ask for it. If you want to grow teeth, ask for it. Whatever it is that you want from the Lord, better grades, more wisdom, maybe more love, family love, whatever. Maybe you want to ask for two or three things. Ask for it now, okay, in Jesus' name. Lord God, let your creative Holy Spirit create and hover over these masses of people and create unto them a miracle in Jesus' name. By your blood. Jesus' name. I feel that anointing just like honey just flown over people, you know. I just feel that tingling and, 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 and I feel power coming from me. I know you're healed. I know people got healed. I know people received things. Uh, I'm just going to dance uh, when I hear where the all is. In Jesus' name, whether you get back to me or not, be blessed. And please, please, like, subscribe, share, and if you want to, only if you want to, you can donate at www.gloriousmercy.com. On the bottom of the webpage, there's a donation uh, link, okay, to PayPal. It's a small link, okay, so you have to look for it. Never miss a heartbeat in faith. IOU is built into the name. We owe it all to Jesus for his mercy and his tender mercies and his love. All right, thank you so much. Uh, again, it's my, uh, what I'm trying to do is build the faith for you and, and help you in receiving your miracles and uh, whatever else you need for the Lord. Uh, but in the end, I want you to be able to do it. And I also want you to be able to look things up on your own and not just wait for me to spoon feed you everything because you have so much, so many uh, uh, issues. I mean, everything comes up every day. Uh, it's just impossible uh, for uh, you to wait and ask one person to pray for everything, for everything for you. Those days are over. You have to help yourself, okay? I think it was Paul that said, follow me as I follow the Lord, okay? And when you when you go anywhere, if you go to the store, uh, take God and, 
uh, Jesus and the Holy Ghost with you. Ask him how you want to make your dinner. Ask him if he thinks you should watch that TV program. Ask him what what, what uh, activity you should do with your family. Get God involved with you and start talking to him on a daily basis. Okay? You get a clean heart, you should be expected to be able to talk to God uh, with a clean heart. All right, look at John, the Gospel of John, chapter 10. Read that. It talks about hearing the voice of God. And everybody should hear the voice of God. It is not nothing special, okay? Everybody in the, in the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven, hears the voice of God. Okay? It's a, a no-brainer. All right, thank you so much, and praise the Lord for you.